Hi, my name is Bjorn Berendt, and I'm an IT coordinator for a school over in Vermont. Uh, recently, we've been looking into alternatives to uh, smart boards uh, for different in type of interactive boards. And specifically, we wanted something that worked with Chromebooks. Uh, one of the tools that we found out, uh, we like the Epson BrightLink interactive board. It actually works with a Chromebook. We uh, great tool. But we also found this. This is the InFocus JTouch board. A uh, couple things about this board. First of all, it's fairly inexpensive when it comes to interactive boards. Uh, this is a 65-inch touchscreen TV. Came in at about $2,000. Uh, so think about what you'd spend for smart between the projector and the board. It's quite comparable. Uh, I have a math teacher who's been using this for about two weeks. And he likes it. Actually, he likes it better than his other board. He finds that the back lighting, even though it's a smaller surface, the back lighting really does help with visibility. So I just want to show a few things about this board. Uh, first of all, it's right now connected to a Chromebook. Uh, you can connect it to a Windows machine. It has some ports on the front and some ports on the back. Uh, the ports on the front the most important one is this one right here. Uh, that's your interactivity, so that you plug a USB into that, and that's where you get your interactivity. Uh, and, but there are a couple of things. It's just a touch screen to whatever device you have connected to. So unlike the smart, which has the pens and all these other things, this is just a touch screen. So we needed to find some alternatives. Uh, one of the first things is an alternative to smart notebooks or software. Teachers really needed the whiteboard. Um, and the app that I found that I really have been showing them is called Zightboard. And it's just a very simple app. Allows you to kind of write on the board. Four plus five equals nine. And can erase some things if it doesn't look quite right. Um, and it just kind of moves around. So it's not slide based, but it does allow you to create whole canvas based. So that's the first app. Uh, the second app that I've been showing teachers is the um, this web paint tool. Now this web paint tool allows you to change the size up here. Uh, basically allows you to annotate any point of the web page. So, you know, and Amazon, you know, we don't want GitHub. I don't want securely. Uh, we don't want you going to Amazon. So it allows you to kind of play with the board itself. Um, and you can kind of take screenshots and things like that. So that's two apps that I thought were uh, very important. Now, getting back to the JTouch board, there are some things that we needed to change right off. Uh, first of all, when you click on a text box, you need the, the keyboard to pop up. <laughs> uh, the way to do that, I started off by looking at apps and things like that, but it, it turned out to be even easier than that. So what you want to do is you want to actually go to accessibility and you want to turn on the on-screen keyboard. Once you do that, anytime you click on a text box, the keyboard will pop up. So it's a great tool uh, to get that going. A couple of the other things, one of the other things about the JTouch board, and I'll go back to the board right here and clear. The pen that comes with it, it comes with a pen. It really looks like one of those very, a large version of the cheap styluses. Uh, we found that this is actually ineffective because what happens is as you write over it, um, it's kind of working, but it sticks. It's really uncomfortable to write on. Um, in fact, it's actually easier to use your finger um, to be able to write on these things. So I don't recommend using the board. I've tried some other styluses. Uh, this board apparently needs a larger stylus. So a lot of the ones that you can buy on Amazon like that don't actually work with the board. Um, and we've always gone back to reverting back to the actual pen. It's um, using your finger instead. So 
all in all, I did want to just basically introduce you to the InFocus's JTouch board. Uh, there are several ones, other ones out there. I think Promethean now makes one. Uh, we did play with the smart, the new smart board software, the new smart board TV. This new smart board TV was twice the cost of this and did not work with a Chromebook. So like I said, when you go down to what works with a Chromebook, this is it. Uh, Promethean makes another one. I haven't got to try it, but it actually looks like a nice one. But the price point is much, a little bit higher, but it is a higher 4K TV where this is just 1080p and... Um, yeah, so check it out. Uh, I do have uh, my email address is bj at edlisten.com. And actually edlisten.com is my blog. So thank you very much and have a good day.